happy black history month hey everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm felicity and we are back with another mods related video today i'm going to be showcasing 40 plus aesthetically pleasing mods for your sims 4 game and i want to thank all of the creators mentioned in this video today because honestly without a lot of these mods i would not be able to enjoy the sims 4 the way that i do so if the sims 4 feels so like boring or dull and so unplayable then you can download most of these mods it'll definitely make you want to play the sims 4 like all the time and i do want to apologize for the lack of uploads recently i've been working on this new let's play and you guys will be hearing about it very very soon on my community tab because i will be needing your guys' help on creating some sims for the save file I want to fill up the same file with all of your beautiful sims so stay tuned on my community tab this video is also going to be broken down into a couple parts so there's going to be a graphics part a cast part there's going to be like a little a little daily routine overrides and mods then there'll be a section for kitchen and goods there'll also be cozy cleaning overrides some other overrides and lastly some realistic mods so it is a very long video so just sit back relax and get your google chrome or your web browser ready to download okay so this is my sim cameron benet and you guys will be seeing her in the new let's play i'm so excited oh my god um so she's gonna be helping us do this mods video today and the first thing that i do want to actually mention before we get into the mods is g shade and reshade that's the first thing i feel like if you really want to have your sims game be full of life full of color and shaders just to make your sims game not to look like this <laughs> I would definitely recommend you guys go ahead and get G-Shade or Reshade. I would suggest getting G-Shade for more high-end PCs or if you do have like a laptop or you're just playing The Sims on more of like a lower end. There's nothing wrong with that by the way. Then Reshade is definitely one for you. But if you're a Mac user, I don't know if Reshade is available for Macs because I am not a Mac user myself so I'm not really sure. But there is some lighting mods that will for sure help your game feel more lively so this is my reshade on and this is my Ooh. reshade off so there's like a really big difference this is my own personal g shade you guys um but there is so many g shade presets and reshade presets out there that i know you'll be able to find there's also a lot of tutorials on how to install G-Shade or Reshade. So if you just go on YouTube and you search it up, you will definitely find a lot of amazing YouTubers that explain step by step on how to do it. I do have a video that I made a long time ago on how to reach, how to install Reshade, but that, like I said, it was a long time ago and it's probably outdated so yeah okay so the first mod that i do want to mention is the realistic cast room lighting by sequia basically it just gives a realistic cast like literally what it says in the title but if you pay attention to her face i'm gonna rotate her over to the left and i'm also gonna rotate her to the right and as you can see there's like a big difference when it, she turns from side to side and so when she goes to the right it's a little bit darker and then when she goes to the left it's lighter so i would imagine that the light would be right over here it just gives more like a realistic look when you're in cast but the ea default is just one tone there's no shades to it or there's no like definition and with these cast lighting i'm not talking about this cast lighting specifically but with a lot of cast lightings that there are they really like bring out the shades of light and i just love it because it's like it kind of gives kind of reminds me of like if she was in a closet and you know the light the sunlight is beaming on her face um, depending on what direction she's facing so i really love this specific cast room lighting mod also with pets as well there's like a slight shadow when you look at the pet you could see like at the top a little bit and i just love i'm obsessed i'm sorry i'm obsessed with this cast lighting, okay obsessed is the word to describe okay so the next mod that we're going to be going into is aura colors loading screen and this 
Plumbob Replacement. So the loading screen is by Donovan Games and the Plumbob Replacement is by Pinkish World. And when I seen this loading screen, I literally screamed, okay? I screamed because it is so perfect for me. I love the color pink and I love butterflies. I have like so many butterflies tattooed on my body. <laughs> so I just seen it and it was just so perfect. And I love that there's recolors for the Plumbob. It just fits my vibe and aesthetic so, so, so well. Are you seeing how beautiful Willow Creek looks? This is a map replacement by 20th C Plumbob and they have a multiple map replacements this is just not the only one we got semi shino with semi shinos there's two options you can have the nightlife one or you could have um the lighter one when it's like daytime and a new one that got released was the tomerang map replacement look at the greenery and the art it looks so gorgeous like Oh my god, I know you see this. Okay, this is not my reshade doing this. This is the Sunblind by Softer Haze. Look how gorgeous. And just look at what Sunblind does to your game. It makes it so beautiful. And even like the water changes a little bit too. And of course, it's not just with this world. It's like literally with all worlds. And there is a tutorial on how to install it, but you do not put it in your mods folder. This is not a regular mod. Um, this is something a little bit more in depth before I get into the next mod I do want to mention that this apartment is by the amazing vixens pixels So if you guys do want to download this apartment, it is by her and she's such an amazing creator So definitely go and check her out So the next mod I am showcasing is the better in-game lighting mod by another Siberia wins Basically it changes the default lighting in the sims 4 um, so without the the lighting mod it's very like one toned a lot of stuff in the sims is just a one tone without mods like, um with this mod there's a lot of different options i have the bright base version but there's also other options like you can do like an average base there's also ones for darker rooms there's a lot of options so it just makes everything a little bit more brighter and honestly you would not need to put this many lights this mod makes your game already bright if you do get the bright base version okay we're almost done with the graphics but there is two other mods that kind of correlate with each other and it's the no blue and the no glow by lumia sims at first, when you get The Sims 4, there's like a blue color light. And I don't know why, it was just so ugly. And it just doesn't really look appealing to the eye. Also, No Glow does kind of correlate with the No Blue one as well. Um, there's like this little glow that The Sims get. A lot of these mods are good as well if you cannot get reshade or G-Shade. Or if you're like a Mac user, you see that right there. This is the Vehicle Replacements by Black Life Sims. And these, as you can see, replaces the EA um, default cars. The cars that we can't actually drive in. Please give us cars. So they look more realistic and give that realistic vibe. You notice, um, instead of my Shuno, there'll be like cars driving on the highway. They're going very fast as you see that Ford. I think it's a Ford but most of them are overrided. Now onto the second portion of the video, which is cast mods. So we got custom traits. A lot of you guys ask me where I get all of my traits from. I really don't even have a lot of custom traits. I took out a lot, but some of them could cause a lot of problems in your game. So there's a combination of traits that I do get. So I have these aesthetic traits. So we got clean girl, I'm pretty sure this fashionista one as well, but um, there's aesthetic traits made by Sims with Shan. And I also do have other traits by Kiera Sims. Some of them she is posing. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. Yes. For example, there's e-girls and e-boys. There's a vintage one. There's also a baddie one. And what's very special about these cast traits made by her is that they give your sims more personality. You'll see your sims do certain things, certain interactions with objects around the house and whatnot because of the traits that they have. That includes the aesthetic traits pack so i love this pack it's just so amazing like i literally have all my sims have at least one of these um kiera has a lot of variety traits so like she has dancer 
Um, there's funny traits. This brings me to the second mod in Cast, which is the More Cast Traits mod by the Pancake One and Mizor Yuki. And I mentioned this mod in every single mods video because I feel like everyone needs to get this mod, okay? If you want your Sims to have more than three traits, I would definitely recommend you get this mod. It's not just with young adults, with every single lifespan, they have an extra two, I believe. So the next mod is the Passion Set Default Underwear, and this is a part of the Ultimate Default Underwear Collection made by Vixen's Pixels. And I love Vixen Pixels, all of her stuff, and just look how beautiful this underwear and bra set is. It's so pretty. I love it. Like the lace, and then... You know, it gives kind of like a corset vibe. There's also other colors that come with this version. There's also other versions a part of the Ultimate Collection made by her. So I definitely recommend you guys check it out. I've been dying to show you guys this cast background, but this is the Simfluencer cast background made by Large Tater Tots. And she also does do YouTube. And I also have another mod that I'm going to be showcasing later on. And I love this cast background. It is so nice. And I will leave that, of course down below you can now have functional <laughs> alarms in the sims 4 this mod is made by lot 51 so this is now the daily routine overrides and mods section of the video you can now set alarms so we're gonna snooze this real quick because she is over it right now it allows you to create alarms manage alarms and you can subscribe to daily reports it just allows your sims to wake up on time for work and i'm pretty sure you could also have her like sleep until the alarm rings the recolor is made by balarfi so there's like cute colors that they recolored this alarm to okay i actually want to show you guys this piece of custom content that i'm going to be linking but this robe is made by vixen's pixels and it's just look at the texture it's so realistic like oh my god so i'm gonna link this down below here's that aesthetic -y vibe like yes girl so my sim is going to start her morning routine and she's going to start off by brushing her teeth and as you can see the toothbrush is different you guys this is the quip oral care set by disco this is another color that you could choose from which is pink but i decided to do black since you know it fits you know my aesthetic a little bit better and now she's gonna come out here and have some peaceful time sit down and write in her journal and also listen to a podcast so this is the build skills with the air buds made by mizor yuki so your sims will actually build skills depending on what podcast your sim listens to which is so 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 cool and we're gonna go ahead and write in our journal and this journal override is made by baby gal one two three and this is a part of her balance collection which comes with a lot of cool things so i definitely recommend you guys go ahead and check it out there's also different colors that the journal does come in it's not just pink of course i look at her building some skill listening to her podcast and running in her journal about all her thoughts and what she's going to do today and i do want to get into the other mod that has been asked a lot where it's from and this is a part of the visible hidden needs mod by zeros sims 4 mods there is like this water bottle that you could actually drink from but this recolor is by yours this would be so cool to bring when you go when your sims go to the gym or you know you want to have them bring some water with them because you need to drink your h2o of course she has to get coffee girl stop but you're ruining the video okay anyways she just goes ahead and drinks and it fills up her thirst there's also a buff that she gets when she is thirsty and of course when she's feeling more hydrated so what she's gonna go ahead and do next a part of her routine <laughs> is read a magazine and this is made by large tater tots there is different magazines that you could choose from and you would just buy them from the computer and they will automatically just end up in your sims inventory and you can go ahead and read them piccolo is a barking because he wants to go out for a walk but we're gonna take him out in a, just a second because this override i do want to show you guys when it comes to the dogs we're actually going to go ahead and watch a movie with movie time mod and this is made by tank 
and you could literally watch a whole bunch of different movies and there's just like clips of different movies and we're gonna watch probably ice age because that's one of my favorites i'm literally a child like <laughs> i'm a child in a grown woman's body okay i love me some cartoons we're gonna go ahead and watch ice age oh a lot of you guys have been asking me where you get this tv from the living room samsung classic frame tv by by felix andre and harry and i do want to show you guys the remote override as you can see oh, it's a little bit different phone, yes. and yeah. more realistic as well <laughs> Well, she did it like really fast i'm sorry <laughs> but she's probably gonna turn it off very soon and i'll be able to show you guys that again but look at ice age on the tv oh piccolo doesn't like the tv you're able to host movie times and invite sims over for movie time there's a lot more things you could do with this mod as well also in cast you're able to choose your sims favorite genre which is so cool this is the tv remote override that i was talking about and how realistic it looks piccolo finally got his walk more like a jog but i want to show you guys this default dog leash made by vixen's pixels <laughs> and basically it replaces it's like recolors of the dog leash and i have the cream color there's other colors as well but it's just a little add-on i really feel like it makes a difference in the game and i love it we just took a shower and now it's time to do our hair and kind of just get ready for the day so She's gonna come over here and use this hair dryer. And this is made by Sibzid Creation, but this is only functional with the bathroom clutter kit. So you need to have that kit to be able to use this hair dryer. And there's also another functional skincare um, product that you're able to use as well, but I don't have that right now on the counter because i use some other things for skincare a little hair drying animation is so cute she could literally blow dry her hair anywhere as you can see she doesn't have to be in the bathroom it's time for some makeup i want to show you guys look at this <laughs> so we got some realistic brands for our makeup now this is a fenty beauty makeup override by mixed doll and we even have the brush to even go with it look at that. look at child get this our next and final mod for this portion of her routine is the functional handbags by coco games and we have functional handbags now like oh my god okay. so we got this leather tabby bag down here we have this vintage coach handbag as well this mark jacobs tote bag like oh my god look how cute these bags are and they're also functional and we could open these bags and put things in them so we have her water bottle right here we could literally add into the bag we could add all of her magazines you know she wants to go out for some coffee go out with the girls and bring all of her stuff in her bag she can and just to make it more realistic you can have your sims actually wear the bag and then just bring the bag along in your inventory i hope that she does make some more because i want oh my god i want all the bags okay all the bags so now we're on to the kitchen and goods section of the video and the first mod I want to introduce you guys to a functional electric kettle and this is made by Sonic and Servinka and you can make tea, you can make coffee, you can make hot coca but this is like the little animation. Oh, she gets a little yes. cup and you also have to boil the water before you do this but look at her actually putting the coffee, oh my god be so for real like that looks so realistic and look at the coffee after it's done Ooh. if you do not put marshmallows with your hot cocoa like what are you doing victor no please be for real and she oh. takes out the powder like that is so cool look at the marshmallows you guys we're gonna go and drink this and she's enjoying her little hot cocoa with marshmallows mm -hmm. 
and I'm pretty sure she does get a buff from this as well. Okay, so she gets very playful and she gets a buff that says toasty. Mmm, sweet pillows of sugary goodness. Is it even worth it to drink hot coca without marshmallows? Hell no, it ain't. And the next one is the home barista made by Little Bao Bub. And you can make some coffees. You can have espresso, flat, black. There is espresso macchiatos. There's cappuccinos. And look how cute the cup is. Oh. And there's like a little heart oh that is so cute so i know we're making a lot of coffee but oh, there is so Marcus. many coffee machines that i wanted to cover so if you wanted to just make some regular coffee you know she's just brewing some coffee in this coffee machine and i do want to show you guys the coffee art mod oh. made by anna chibi sims and basically it changes the art of the coffee and i have the version I think it's the heart number two. Because you know, sometimes when you go to those bougie restaurants or those bougie cafes, they'll like make the, the cream into a shape. There's six different types of coffee art overrides that you could choose from. I also do want to mention another um, override that you could download. And that is default mug made by Vixen's Pixels. Basically, it changes the color or the pattern of the coffee cup. But of course, I will leave both of them down below for you guys. Okay, our next mod is the cutting board override by Chanel for Sims. And as you can see, we have a different type of cutting board and she's messing up this food right now but it is so cute look at the heart y'all i'm in love as you can see like all my stuff are just heart overrides there is 12 different cutting boards you could choose from so this is a default cutlery made by dudley's trailer and basically overrides the ea cutlery and also we have a different texture for quick meals and breakfasts and this mod is made by apricot rush plenty of other quick meals that you're able to have and it changes the texture of the food and also a lot of the breakfast that there is in the game on to cozy cleaning overrides we have a recolor for the vacuums made by vixen's pixels and there is many different colors you can recolor the vacuums and i love all the colors literally okay so these robots overrides are made by asteria sims and there's a robot vacuum cleaner and there's a charge dock and you're able to change the color of the charge dock and also the vacuum cleaners i'm gonna have her just go ahead and start her cleaning routine so you guys know it is functional and it does work so look at that you guys just your oh damn you're going over my foot <laughs> But it just does exactly what the robot vacuum cleaner does, but it's just a different model, and I love this. It just gives that realistic vibe. Look at the robot cleaner go. Yeah, do your work. Another replacement that I do have is the Laundry Pal Default Replacement by the Large Tater Tots. It just replaces the colors of the laundry, and like I said before, it's the little things that make a big difference in your Sims game. And of course, you would need the Laundry Day Stuff Pack for this to work. So it's time to take out the laundry, and I want to show you guys this folded laundry override made by Vixen's Pixels. And as you can see right here, the laundry looks a lot different, and it just looks so, so, so much better. And it got the little polo tee. The apartment is looking very much disgusting right now. So another replacement is this spray bottle when you're cleaning around the house, you know, and you're cleaning up appliances and stuff. This is made by Sir Kison and it just replaces the spray bottle when you're cleaning objects in your game. There's also seven different textures that you could choose from so it's not just the blue one there is a lot of other colors that are really cute as well. Okay our next override is this shark mop mop replacement and this is a part of an in-game dump made by kiko vanity it just replaces the mop in the sims 4 and i just love the design of this mop so if you want more of a realistic aesthetic -y look to the mop you could definitely get this and this sponge is made by elk rise 
and it just changes the sponge in the game. It also changes the sponge when you do wash dishes as well. I'm kinda gonna switch around these two last portions of the video. So I'm gonna do realistic mods, these two realistic mods before I actually do the other override that I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so this mod right here is a pretty big mod and I do want, there's gonna be a lot of pausing cause she's gonna be doing a lot of crazy things while I'm trying to explain this, but this is the job finding mod by Zero's Sims 4 Mods and I love this because it's so realistic. So if we wanna find a job, we cannot actually just join a career as you can see it's not an option to click and just join a career you actually have to go through a process with this mod so you would click on the computer and you would obviously go to career and you could find a job so they'll be like searching for jobs you know on the internet and seeing like the salary and whatnot and they'll be like pop-ups for every single career and a cool thing is is that there is numbered job opportunities left and you can contact the employer stop looking continue looking and also send a resume so we're gonna go ahead and continue looking you do acquire a employment exploring skill so we're gonna go ahead and con we can contact the employer or just send a resume off but i'm gonna have her just go ahead and contact the employer and see how that plays for out for her so tonight. she just Trofa. calls Trofa. them up Trofa. and you know talks Trofa. to them a little Trofa. bit <laughs> there is a whole description about it and we could go now or we can also go later but we're gonna go to this interview she's gonna change her outfit okay i guess you're gonna wear this to the interview and it's just a rabbit hole so she does just you know disappear off in the air and she does her little interview so there's a lot of little like pop-ups that you get to choose i feel like she would make a bold impression and then you'll get <laughs> you'll get little uh notifications if the interview went down a bit or if it went up okay and there is also buffs that they'll get so she got a, a post interview jitter she'll also feel very tense about you know the interview and stuff just like how it is in real life i love this mod um and then in a couple of days they will contact you and you could go on the computer and you could um check for responses if you'd like and there's so many more cool things you could do with this mod. So I'm definitely going to leave that down below for you guys. You guys can go ahead and check it out. And if you want to just speed up the process and just have your sim, you know, have a career ready for, you know, storyline purposes and stuff like that, you could cheat their info and just add a career. And I'm going to show you guys the custom careers that I have. So I have a couple of custom careers here. So most of these careers are made by here, Sims 4 Mods. And there is a lot like photographer. I know that there's like a model one, the celebrity manager. Um, I do have emergency medical services as well. And so we are here now at brunch with Katarina. And I want to show you guys this menu replacement override made by Vixen's Pixels. And it just overrides the menu when your sims are ordering food and there's a different colors that it comes with but i chose the dark brown version okay you guys so this is the end of today's video i hope you guys all enjoyed it let me know what you guys think in the comments down below all of the links to all these mods will be also down below and stay tuned on my community tab to stay updated with my new let's play i'm bringing out very very soon i love you guys so much and i hope you guys are having an amazing day and i'll talk to you guys in my very next video bye everyone